Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of Europa Universalis 4, playing as Bosnia. Now, the last episode that I recorded, I can't use. I can't upload it because something happened with my recording software that screwed the recording all up. But not to fret, my friends. Nothing really happened. <laughs> nothing really happened. Um, we didn't get any more territory. We didn't fight a war. Nothing bad happened. What did happen, though, essentially was... We ended up fulfilling both of these ideas. The research for the influence ideas and the humanist ideas moved right along last episode. And we ended up getting the rest of these um, ideas unlocked, being the Postal Service, the March Lords, which gives us a vassal force limit contribution of plus 50%. Um, we went to Benevolence, which gave us better relations over time of plus 33%. We also got Tolerance of Heathens of plus three. And because we unlocked each one of these, we get the bonus idea of an idea cost of minus 10%. And for this one, we've got Unjustified Demands of minus 50%. So now we're just working on getting this up to a level 10 so that we can unlock the next one here. And we'll have to decide what we're going to unlock as we, as we get closer to this. I'm not sure if it's going to be a military idea or what it's going to be. The other thing that popped up is um, some very significant, whoops, that's the Holy Roman Empire, some pretty significant um, religious reformations were happening. We can see that the blob here is getting quite big. I also got um, the option to take Defender of the Faith, which is a very honorable title. However, um, as cool as it would be to have a small nation like Bosnia being the defender of the Protestant faith, what that would mean is that I would have to go to war in defense of any nation that is declared war upon who is Protestant. So if a Protestant nation gets attacked, I come to their aid. As cool as that would be, I don't think I'm militarily ready for a responsibility like that. And what else happened was, as you can see here, the reformed religion has um, creeped into the papal states when they almost own all of the Italian peninsula here. And then um, some more reformed religions and whatnot have expanded off into the westward here. And that has really all that's happened. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back to the political map. We're going to start it up. We're at a level three. And we're going to see what happens. Now, somebody in my comments, one of my Bosnian viewers, and I love having Bosnian viewers. Um, I think that's really cool that there's some people from Bosnia who know way more about Bosnia than I do are actually sitting down and taking the time to watch me play as a Bosnian nation. And I really don't have much knowledge on Bosnian history. Partially because I'm an American and we don't know hardly anything unless you take the time to study it yourself about European history. They just don't they don't teach us that stuff. Nobles demand privileges. Uh, we had this before and pretty much what this means is that the nobles are asking that they have more privileges than they used to. So we can accept the demands and lose 10 prestige. Or we can ignore the demands and gain an unrest of plus two. I think I'll accept the demands because our prestige already is at a negative 31. And if you're already in the negative as far as prestige goes, why the hell not just go in deeper? It doesn't really, it doesn't really affect me as a, as a, as a, as a nation to go that deep into prestige. It doesn't really matter. So, and I would rather take that over um, national unrest of plus two. So we're going to accept their demands. We're going to lose a little bit of prestige. Somebody, uh, one of my Bosnian viewers said, I need to eat up Serbia. I ne Serbia needs to become a part of Bosnia. Now, what that would do is make Bosnia a one one nation. All this right here would be part of Bosnia right here. I'm going to recall the diplomat. Um, and that's that's okay because I would get a little bit of money. But since... Serbia is so mountainous as Bosnia is, the tax base for Serbia is actually pretty low. I would be better off taking territories here where the tax base is high than take uh, Serbian territories where the tax base is low, even though it's going to make me a bigger country. Additionally, what's happening here, occupied by Lithuania, additionally, Serbia is serving as a march, which means they get a defensive bonus and a military bonus for serving as my march and it's helping to protect against the ottomans i'm afraid that if i swallow that up one i won't have the 
finances to, to take in this par- portion of the army here, and I'll have to decrease my size. Um, and I'm afraid that they'll attack because I don't I don't have a, a march anymore. So what I'm going to do is once I get bigger, once Bosnia gets bigger this way, or possibly this way, which I hope will happen, um, I, I will then consider taking in Serbia. But right now, where I'm pretty vulnerable, uh, where I'm pretty vulnerable, Bosnia and the Papal States are no longer rivals. That's unfortunate. Religious disorder in uh, Verden. Um, once I get a little bit bigger, I'll go ahead and eat up um, Serbia and make that a part of Bosnia. But right now, where they're they're pretty much a pretty decent ally, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them where they are as my march. Internal conflicts for the Timurids. Um, so we've got a diplomat in province, right? Uh, what happened also was province showed up. This little French um, province here, known as province, has started their own nation, and I increased relations with them um, just because it's possible that France will be a problem here. Specifically, um, uh, Catholic nations becoming a problem because um, where the border here pretty much is becoming more Protestant. There's going to be a lot of tensions between Protestant nations and larger nations like uh, France and Spain and England, which surprisingly hasn't switched over. Normally they switch over to being Protestant, but they haven't yet. And I'm not sure that they will. And I wonder if that's because... Let's take a look. I wonder if Thomas de Avi... That's because... That's because there's a family member, a Portuguese family member, on the throne of England. That's why the DIV family controls the English throne. That's interesting, and that's probably why they haven't switched over, because Portugal is a Protestant nation. And it looks like Portugal might get swallowed up here by Spain, or what is still Castile. Castile? Castile? I don't know. So let's increase the speed a little bit. And what's happening here? Muscovy. So I wonder if Muscovy is finally going to get that growth spurt that they wanted. Novgorod, as we saw in other episodes, um, was actually getting quite big, and Muscovy, surprisingly, was getting quite small. But now that this war has kicked off here, I wonder if Muscovy will all of a sudden expand as it does in the other games. Relations with the Ottomans are negative 42 I wonder how much I can increase my relations with them because it might be better to uh, to get the Ottomans friendly and try to expand this way against mainland Europe or against the, the whole of Europe here and use Ottoman support to expand into Hungary. Civil disorder in, Al- in Augsburg. Lots of religious reformation going on. This is a very interesting religious reformation that's happening in this game. A lot of other games... Um, it doesn't seem to get quite as expanse, expansive as um, as it is in this one. We fight the past and it fights back. Dedication to more liberal understanding of place of the citizen in the state means that our neighbors have branded us a rogue nation, committed to undermining the traditional rights of the crowns, the church, and the guild. Can we only trust those who think as we do? Hungary's opinion, Austria's opinion, and Serbia's opinion of us goes down by minus 20. I'm not too worried about it. And that pretty much has to do with the fact that we're very we're a very humanist nation. We're playing as a humanist nation. We're accepting a number of cultures. We're accepting a number of religions. We aren't tying ourselves down to one specific culture or nation. We're being very open-minded. So far, I've had a really, really fun time playing as Bosnia. Um, it's it's been it's been slow as expansion goes, um, and economically it's been very slow we have a very poor economy this bosnia um but i i i like playing it because i think it's i think it's a pretty a pretty solid country in southeastern europe because one i think i think we're the cultural center of eastern europe at least possibly the entire center of europe um Also, we're a very, very, very faithful ally. We're like the Doc Holliday of Europe. If you don't know who Doc Holliday is, go ahead and Google that. Doc Holliday. He's the, um, he's a very iconic Western figure in American 
Western history and Western culture. Very big supporter of Wyatt Earp. And even though he had few friends, he had a very few friends, like Bosnia does. We don't have many friends, but he was incredibly loyal to the ones that he did um, ha- have friends with. So that's kind of like us with Austria. Even though we're small and Austria really is our only friend, we've supported Austria in every single war that they fought. So that's another reason why I, I this playthrough is pretty fun so far. And I also don't have enough, I have enough money to make new buildings, but I don't have enough, I don't have enough development in each province to, um, to allow another building to be built. All of my slots are full as far as buildings go. And I have plenty of money to start building more, more buildings. I just don't have the spots to build them. What about here? Oh, here we go. We've got a call to arms. This is going to be with Austria. Um... Conquest of Mantua against Mantua, and they are allied with Hungary. Oh, this is good. This is good because that means that means that Hungary is now at war with Austria, and we can prosecute our. Ooh, I don't know if we can prosecute our claims because we're already at war. But we can occupy those territories in Austria that we have claims on. And if we win, and if Austria, the AI Austria, is generous enough, they may give us those claims. They may they may force Hungary in a peace deal to give us some more land. So that's what we're gonna do. Austria, I believe, is gonna I hope. Actually, they're coming into they're coming into Hungarian territory. So Austria is gonna engage in their war with Mantua. And they're going to engage in a war with Hungary. So we will be able to support Austria in a Hungarian war. And hopefully get some territory out of this. So we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to accept. I'm going to reduce the speed a little bit so I can keep an eye on what's developing. I am going to have... Let's, let me check my claims here. Um... I could actually get to the province. So we have a claim on Slavonia. Laika. Okay, so I'm going to have... I'm going to have the Serbians occupy Slavonia. And I will occupy Laika. So we can at least get these these regions occupied. And, um, and it looks like Hungary and Austria will fight somewhere around here. And Austria probably will win, but we'll see. If they need support, we'll go ahead and support them. <coughs> um, in an effort to advance their own interests, Bohemia has requested our help in exchange for subsidies. We will receive 3.6, 3.36 each month for the duration of 20 years. Awesome. And I think that's because we're at war with Hungary. So Bohemia is giving us money to prosecute this war. So that's what we're going to do. And it looks like maybe Austria is going to be heading down to occupy Slavonia first. Yep, and they're moving up into Bohemian territory. So we're not going to have to worry really about Hungarian armies because they're more they're more concerned with Bohemia and Austria than they are with the territories that we're going to be occupying. So it looks like Serbia is moving into Slavonia. We are moving into uh, Laika. We're going to occupy both of these regions, and then we're just going to start occupying some of these border regions. Kind of be a little terrorist to, uh, to the Hungarians, while the Austrians and the Bohemians deal with them. Now let's look at what the war actually looks like. We've got Austria, Augsburg, Bosnia, Serbia, the Palinate, Mantua, and Hungary. Now why is Bos... Why is... They're, okay, so Bohemia is actually not at war. But they were allied with us. They were allied with us, so maybe maybe that's why they're giving us the money. 
to help us fight our war. That's that's good. That's really cool. So we're working on the occupation here. We're going to try to stay close to the um, Austrians because if the Hungarians come down... Okay, we occupied Liga. Okay, let's move. Let's move into Bosnia. And we are going to support the Austrians when they get attacked. Because there's a big stack coming down this way. Uh, now... Move here. Augsburg, they're on their way over. That's an ally of Austria. Okay, we need to move in and we need to support... We need to support the uh, Austrians here. Because they're about to get hit. Now, when they get hit... I haven't played this game in a while. Where is the... Oh, here it is. The river flows between Becks. Okay, so... So the Hungarians are going to have to cross a river. So they're going to get a river crossing penalty. We need to move in and support very quickly. Here we are. We might lose. We might lose. I don't think we came in quick enough. Hopefully, either Serbia or Augsburg could come in and help help bring up those reinforcements quickly enough to where we can fight back the Austrians. Because this is a this is a bad fight. We're gonna lose this one. They might. They might, oh, can they get in there quick enough? Let me pause this real quick. We're almost done. We're almost done. They're gonna be here on the 18th. It is, I don't know if we're going to have enough time. No, we lost. But Augsburg's going to come in and wipe them out. Augsburg's going to come in because they've got a full stack 22. The morale of the Hungarians is really low. We've also got some Bohemia, or some Serbians coming back in. Serbians are going to come in and, uh, and support more than likely the Augs Augsburg here. Possibly. And they won. Okay. So we need to move our troops back up. We're at a negative four on war score. That's bad. Hungarians have retreated because of that Augsburg army. Austrians are coming back. I think this is going to be a pretty tough, tough war, but I think we'll come out on top. Serbia is doing some great occupation work over here. We're going to move into the border region here and we're going to take over uh, Zagreb. Ah. We just need to wait for our uh, our morale to spike back up. Let's kick this up to a three. Increase the speed just a little bit. Pretty significant Augsburg army here. So if the Austrians come back down, um, they'll be in trouble. I think. I think the Augsburgs will be able to to uh, to hold off against the Hungarians. Let's go ahead and occupy Zagreb. Let's recall. End of religious turmoil. Where are the Serbians? Did they go? Okay. Okay, so the Hungarians are moving in probably to try to retake some of these provinces here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move back into Bosnia. Actually, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way so that if we happen to get attacked by this much larger army, um, we'll be in the mountains and we'll have a defensive bonus. And I believe a river crossing bonus. Now we've got the Hungarians coming down into the Occupy Serbia. And another Hungarian army is trying to reoccupy Slavonia. Take that back. Now the only thing we can do really now is to wait in our mountainous 
terrain here and hope that the Serbians and the Austrians come back this way. Because they occupy their war goal, which is Mantua. So now all of their forces are going to divert, come back, and face the main Hungarian armies here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hang out in Bosnia where it's safe. Yeah, here we go. More Austrians and uh, Hungarians moving, or, or uh, yeah, they got this. They got this. Even though they got a 10 stack coming this way, they got a 22 and a 28 stack. So they're going to walk all over that Hungarian army. Let's move in to help. And let's start... Um, Let's start occupying. Let's look at the ledger to see how many troops Hungary has left. They might have lost them all in that, that fight that they just went through. Uh, I gotta learn my alphabet. Right, so they've got a very small army. Um, so they've, they've got some, they can still field some troops. It's certainly not going to be enough to fight off the, uh, hung, the Austrians. That's for sure. So let's get, um, let's get Serbia to occupy that. And we'll go occupy, say, Samaji. We'll move up, we'll move up here and try to occupy that. Now the, Serbi the Serbians are going to take Pest instead, and that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. I think we're going to stop it just about here. Let's move over and uh, take over Bakes here. Okay, let's hold here. Just take a look at some of the statuses. Okay. All right, we're going to stop it here. Let me save the game. We're going to stop it here. Um, we're going to pick it up next time. We're going to be picking it up right in the middle of the war. And hopefully, hopefully, at the at the peace deal, we get some land that we had claims on. We hope that's what happens. We hope Austria is, is generous enough to do that. So if you want to see more of this, guys, please give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas for future episodes, please leave it in the comment section. Also, check out the Facebook page. I have a brand new Facebook page. All of my video uploads and news go there, and it's a great place to communicate with me. I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.